Erica. Are you nervous for the first day as a crush? Don't worry, I'll cheer in our college. And right now, we will be joining by my friend. Oh, here she is. Meet my friend Rose. that prepares the student for the profession as a radiologic technologist or as a radiographer. So what is a radiologic technology profession? First, let's understand what a radiographer is, which is also referred to as X-ray technologist, wherein is a part of the professional team of radiologic technology. Let us discover the most common modalities that a radiographer would likely to handle in a hospital, which are the X-ray, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, and computed tomography scan or CT scan. First, the X-ray. First, we have the X-ray room. An X-ray involves X-rays being emitted by the machine as a particle that passes through the body, being absorbed at different frequencies by different internal structures until they are detected by the sensitive field which produce the image. This made possible by William Conrad Grantgen, who discovered the X-ray. Radiographs can be made through two outputs, which are the film screen imaging, which is permanent record of examination, wherein the use of dark room would be essential. And due to the advanced technologies that we have today, a digital imaging where it is the ability to manipulate the contrast of the image, that actually is an advantage. A radiographer may also operate an imaging modality like MRI or magnetic resonance imaging which produces cross-sectional view of the body by the interaction of radio wave and magnetism. Next, radiographer may also encounter CT scan which means computed tomography scan. From the word computed, meaning a combination of X-ray and computer to create pictures of certain organs, bones, and other tissues, more detailed than a regular X-ray. We're not yet done, since radiologic technologies may also handle positron emission tomography or PET scan, ultrasound or sonography, and mammography. Also, Rad Tech may also serve in the field of management, education, and marketing. That's a lot of career opportunities. We're done with the discussion of different imaging modalities that a radiologic technology profession would like to encounter in the hospital. Also, a fan fact, since we're dealing with a lot of patients, especially when it comes to safety, for you to have an idea, in the radiologic department, there is a term called Picture Archiving and Communication System, or also known as TACS, where it stores information of patient case and digitized data. Another thing, if you want to know the salary of Rate, find Jason. I think he can he can help you. Oh, here's Jason! Hey, what's up? Hello there. Hey. If you ask to know the salary for Rate, you've come to the right person. Don't worry. We'll travel just a little. First in the Philippines. According to Indeed.ph, a radiologic technologist would have an average salary per month of 13,838 pesos. <clears throat> they added the difference of working in Quezon City and Makati, wherein you'll earn 14,537 pesos and 12,738 pesos per month, respectively. Let's now move on internationally. According to US News and World Report, a radiologic technology would have an average salary of 57,450 US dollars per annum or almost 3 million per annum in pesos. Compared to the local monthly salary, you'll be earning for about 170,000 pesos per annum. And I must say that's a lot of difference. Also, they added that the District of Columbia has the highest for the profession with 72,270 US dollars per annum or you'll be carrying almost 4 million per annum when converted to Philippine pesos. That's even more. 
Hope you got some ideas for me. But the most important thing that you should remember is not about the money, why you choose to become a rat tech. But remember on how you help the healthcare team. Bye and see you around.